Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Today's August 24th, 2011. And I'm going to try to make this brief, which is difficult for me. I, uh, I got my new microphone stand. I ordered a microphone stand um, back a a couple years ago, I think, and uh, I don't know anything about audio. I'm not much into I'm not much into music. I've got a little hearing uh, difficulty. Uh, back when I ordered my microphone stand, it turned out it was a drum thing, so it was short. And so I finally now I've got one, and uh, and I'm not sure I need it, but it makes me feel like I'm a radio broadcaster or something. So anyway, I've got that. I uh, got my new television set and the charter cable people came out and I didn't know that I've made a video on this, but I didn't know that I had to have a special box in order to get high definition TV. So when I and there again, I'm not going to go into a great length because I did make a video on this, and I'll put maybe put the link. But I bought a you know a 26 inch HD TV and hooked it up to the cable box that I had, and couldn't get the uh, HD channels. And I thought, what's wrong? And then I found out that I had to have the uh, cable people come out, or I could have gone and picked one up and give me an HD box. So now I'm getting. Uh, HD television. So I've got about 150 channels. Uh, and uh, so that's working okay. My uh, ex-wife lives in the next apartment over with my, you know, grown son. And we've been divorced. So, you know, I've got, I think I was about 40 when we got divorced and I'm 70 now. Uh, but she just got a 40 inch uh, HD TV, but uh, she hasn't uh, had the cable people come out and get her so she can get HD TV. Uh, the manual that came with when I was trying to figure out why can't I get HD TV, uh, the manual that came with my television set, mine's a Sharp. Uh, there was a line in there that said. Uh, you must have an H. If you don't have an HD source, uh, all you have is a. I forget what they said. All you have is an L, common LCD TV. You know. So anyway, okay. I uh, did a video when I, I had a pacemaker put in. Oh, I don't know when. I did a video on that, and there were several videos after that where I think I discussed it. But I did a video when I received this, from the cardiologist office. Uh, since I had the pacemaker put in, I've gone to the cardiologist office twice for regular scheduled appointments. And I go in there and they uh, put a device over my pacemaker and it reads the data out. Now they could also reprogram it if they needed to, but they haven't needed to do that. But it reads the data out and they know what my heart's doing, and they know what the pacemaker is, you know, doing. Whether it's how how often it's telling it to speed up or what it's uh, whatever it's doing. But they sent me this device, and I'm sure glad of it, uh, so that I can. I'm not sure if I do this every three months or every six months. I'll just hook it up to the phone line, and it will transmit the data to them. So this is the first time I just came. I don't have an analog phone line. I'm using my computer, of course, and Skype for my phone service. And of course, I've got a cell phone, but I don't have a regular, you know, AT&T analog phone line. And this is kind of old technology. I think I wish that they would have a device like this that I could send the data, you know, over the computer. Uh, you know, over the internet to them instead of dial up. But anyway, today was the first day. I just came back from the office a few minutes ago. The, 
I asked the office here at the apartment complex if I could uh, use their phone. I said yes. They're really not really nice here. So I used this thing. So what what you do is you know you turn it on and then you have this device and you put it over the pacemaker. So this thing's so you turn it on, put it over the pacemaker, and the light blinks, and then it starts going across here, it's reading the data in through this. Now, if there's a problem, well, I don't think this blinks unless there's a problem. You know, it's not in the right location or something. So this grow, and then the data is stored in there. So then you can take this off, you know, or put it, you know, you don't need to hold it up there, and then it will dial out and. To the clinic or the service that they use and you can actually hear it sounds like a 300 or 1200 baud modem you know you hear the dial you know dialing and then you hear the squealing sound and some of you are not old enough to remember that but and then these lights light now it started lighting flashing and I got this light down here a trouble and, oh god I hope I was afraid to Maybe they had call waiting there or something at the office, but they, they, I asked later, they don't. But I hadn't plugged it in the wall really good. I hadn't clicked it into the wall really good. So then it went across, and it sent the data, and then this flashes, you know, that it was received, and that's it. So I'm done. Pretty neat. I just wish that, uh, you know, I do everything over the Internet. If, if the Internet goes down, I, I can't, I don't think I could pay my bills, uh, I do everything over the everything over the internet. So, uh, okay, I said I was going to um, make it short, and that's, I'm going to actually do it. Uh, this is short for me, seven minutes. So, uh, appreciate you watching, and hope you've got something from watching. I'm not sure from what, but anyway, thanks very much. I appreciate it.